This is a radio frequency detector circuit. Let me just make a quick comment on what's going on here so we have a full understanding. The circuit has a green LED as you can see in the video. If I move the circuit close enough, the LED will turn on indicating that the circuit has detected the electromagnetic waves propagating from the router. These circuits are often broken down by the individual components used, such as use this op amp, connect this input to that output, cut the antenna to this specific length, etc., aka lost in the details and missing the point. The flow of this video series will be slightly different. We will put the first things first and describe fundamental reasoning along with the scientific principles applied in this circuit. The way I see this circuit is the combination of three different subsections with each section performing a task required by the whole and in doing so utilizing various scientific laws unique to that section. Now to start, the circuit needs a way of telling us that it detects electromagnetic waves. This is where the LED comes in. Note that the circuit will still detect radio waves with or without the LED. The LED is meant to indicate to us as humans that detection has occurred. When we consider how the circuit itself detects the radio waves, this role is accomplished with the antenna. The antenna in this case is a straight copper wire. As the electromagnetic waves propagate through the antenna, the magnetic component of these waves induces an electric field within the antenna. This electric field as applied to electronics is referred to as voltage. And it is this voltage induced in the antenna which gives away the presence of these radio waves. So we have a component for the circuit to detect radio waves, which is the antenna. And we have a component to indicate to us that detection has occurred, which is the LED. But there's still a problem here. The signals produced and the signals required by these two components are not compatible. Let me break this down. The LED can emit light, but it can only do so if there's enough voltage built up across its terminals. For this specific LED, this threshold voltage is about 1.8 to 2 volts. But the voltage produced by the antenna at the distance shown in the video is most likely on the order of millivolts. If we hooked up these two components together by themselves, the LED is just not going to light up. So we're not done here. And I've often learned the hard way that half-finished labor generally proves to be labor lost. And that's certainly the case here. We need something to bridge that voltage gap. We need a voltage gain from the signal produced by the antenna. And that is where the operational amplifier comes in, also known as the op amp. 